Hi there, my name is Fanny and welcome to my channel. And thank you for tuning this channel. I have created this channel to help people to power their lives and add value so that everyone discover their true potential. It's my genuine effort to enhance the lives of people who truly wanted to discover themselves in this new digital era. In this video, I'm going to reveal three step formula to build your first website. So stay tuned and watch till the end to get a bonus tip, which I'll be revealing at the end of the video. But before I start, I would like to request you if you like this video, do hit like button. And if you have any suggestions, please leave that in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe my channel to get notification whenever I upload a new video like this. So without any delay, let's get started. So when uh, planning your first small business website, there are three essential questions you should ask yourself before you start working on your project to build your website. You need to get clarity on few aspects of your website creation. First is who is your potential audience? In simple words, for whom you are building your website. First, you need to brainstorm your whole idea that whom you are targeting and give a lot of thoughts to your targeted market. Who wants to come into your website and why? The solution there is quite likely to sell some things, uh, a product or services or maybe a thought. If you are thinking your audience is anyone and everybody, then you may be unclear in your goal of building a website and your website will lack focus too. Ideally, you must create a distinct segment. Segment in the sense uh, means a sense of your niche or sector. Now, next step is how your audience will find you. Once you register your presence online, then your audience is going to reach you. But you need to decide that how they are going to find you and get you online. Because creating a website is not a sufficient thing. Once you create your website, then you need to decide from where your audience is coming from and how you are going to acquire them. Creating a distinct segment also will assist you with the help of search engines to drive traffic into your site. Consider what sort of keywords and target audience might type while they are searching something on the net. Actually, the best way to go is by doing your own search by yourself and see who comes up within the top 10 results because that's where you would like to be. Also, you need to check are your competitor there in this top 10 results. If yes, then visit their website and learn from them. Do a complete survey and research on them that how they are working and what are the areas they are focusing and build your strategy. How are you able to improve on them? Identify something unique about your business that sets it aside from your rivals. And you also need to keep in mind that research keywords or key faces to be more accurate and need to be incorporated into your pages of website. This can be within the page title, within the headings and within the internal links. You need to be, be specific together uh, with your key faces because they are going to be less competitive than the more general single word searches and can more accurately target your market. To achieve high program rankings is building inbound links in your site. Now, what is inbound links? Inbound links are also called backlinks. A backlink is a link from some other website. Links is connected with your web page or a page on the external website that links to the page of your site. This links acquisition is a natural growth where the inbound link count increase gradually. The pages that links to your website should be relevant on topic and should contain the same keyword. SERP search engine rank page which is also called SERP which is based on their reputation or their character. Your ranking is going to be determined by what other pages are consulting about your web page. 
Now third and final step is how will you convert your website visitor into sales? This is a most important crucial step for any website. Before stepping in, you should be clear in this aspect. Don't just tell them what you are doing or selling. Tell your audience what they need. Yes, the big question is why? Why they should take from you or they should come to your website or they should buy products from you or product or services from you? You can different you can try different methods like uh, by offering incentives or by like free varies discount methods or maybe like you can try coupons offers and value you have to give them value out of your website you should be prepared yourself and build your USP too USP confirms that you have your unique selling point which should be clearly visible on your home page and preferably repeated on all of your other pages. Visitors need to understand why you are different from the rest and why they should choose you, not your competitor. Lastly, a bonus. As committed, before building your website, you should be ready with your funnel structure. Identify your important pages, usually the call to actions. Funnel structure, call to action and product pages as well. If you are running an e-commerce website, then you need to be ready with your product pages so that everyone can be redirected to product page. And finally, let's recap the whole process. First, you should know your audience, whom you are building your website. Second, once you build your web home, you should plan how you are going to get your audience. And lastly, finally, how you are going to convert your audience into your customer. So this is the three step formula you should be planning before you start building your website. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification on my next video release. Do like, share with your family and friends. Thanks for watching.